This is the Microhomily for the 11th of June. Please read the readings before listening to the homily. In that second reading, although St Paul describes rightly the love of Christ as unknowable, nothing in our human experience can give us anything that, to compare with the depth of God's love. Yet he still prays we may come to know it. Well, only by experiencing divine love and participating in it is that possible. Not to know it in any complete sense, but to get perhaps a glimpse of the depth of God's love. Hosea got that glimpse, the prophet, in the first reading. He uses this tender imagery of parent and child. He expresses God's determination to communicate to people that God isn't eager to destroy. His love makes him eager to save, to forgive, to reconcile. After all these comforting words, why that gospel? Why didn't we have some of the comforting words of Jesus, like that saying that you're worth more than hundreds of sparrows, every hair on your head has been counted? Why do we go to the agony and horror of the cross? Ambrose Evans Pritchard recently wrote in 40 years of journalism, one thing I've learned is never pay much attention to what people say, watch what they do. In the cross, we see what Jesus does. that humiliating and agonising death, the price Jesus is willing to pay, the mechanism that he will endure to bring straying humanity back to a right relationship with God, to reconcile us, to enfold us again in the heart of God's love. We celebrate today the solemnity of the Sacred Heart. The purpose of the Pope, or one purpose of the Pope of the time who first promoted that devotion, was to bring people back to Holy Communion. So many people were focusing on the depth of difference, the chasm between our own unworthiness and sinfulness and the majesty and glory and perfection of God, that some people were going to communion only once a year and some never. Well, yes, we say, Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you. But thankfully, devotion to the Sacred Heart has helped us to understand that worthy or not, God desires to give us these gifts. We celebrate today the unfathomable depth of the love of God for each human being.